and welcome back. Our guest tonight is Ken Webb. He is a political commentator and satirist. You can find him on YouTube as Change the Channel, as DA Channel, and also on Truth Frequency Radio. He joins us now to talk about his most recent endeavors. All right, thanks for joining us, Kenneth. Hey, thanks for having me. Now, Ken, you know, I'm familiar with your work and uh, the things you do, but for the people who don't know, tell us about Change the Channel and also Truth Frequency Radio. Um, Truth Frequency Radio is a, a, a bunch of activists who turned radio talk show hosts, and um, a bunch of us uh, were at a, a, another uh, radio network, and we just all, that, that you know, that just kind of folded, so we all went over the true frequency. It's really awesome. A lot of uh, different uh, people, different styles and everything. Um, we also, on Saturdays, we have a round table discussion where a bunch of us to get together on Saturday nights from 10 to 12 and talk about things that are going on. Um, my show is from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and um, I, I take a lot of things from YouTube that I do over on YouTube, and I will put it into radio. Also, you know, like I'll do a, a weekly the list. Uh, I'll dig from the hat sometimes, pick out topics to talk about. I'll do rants, uh, breakdowns, uh, little mini documentaries in there. So I try to take everything from the visual to the audio out there. Um, over on Change the Channel, uh, I do... I've been doing that for about eight years now and uh, trying to do different styles of videos to present the information. And tell us, uh, Ken, because I noticed uh, you have some new additions uh, where you constantly change your, your flow and your style. But tell us about some of the more uh, recent additions you've added to your repertoire. Um, the newest one is Monologue with the Revolutionary. It's a fictional, fictional uh, monologue set in the future about the revolution to come as told by a revolutionary living in a new world order. Um, and it, it goes on. I did two episodes of that. It's really good because it's, it's fictional, and I like uh, changing it up and presenting the information in this format also because it's, you know, a lot of the fiction is based on reality. Um, in, in the story, it, you know, uh, it, we'll learn about the future. Um, you know, it, as the story continues, you'll learn more and more about it because they've just got two episodes up now, and they're about uh, two minutes each and about what led up to all of this. So you learn as it goes along what led up to the point that the character's at. Um, what happened during the armed revolt of 2020, uh, which was uh, it was talked about in the second episode, mm -hmm. uh, which we pretty much know that that was all squashed. And uh, what happened to his family and his home, all the while showing what's happening at the present, you know, with the struggle, uh, what things are like, how people live, under what conditions, how the revolt is rebuilding basically from scratch after the, the 2020 revolt. Uh, tactics and technologies, <clears throat> excuse me, being used, which I really like as, you know, being the writer of something like this, is thinking about what tactics that would be employed after an armed revolt had been squashed. You know, information would be golden, mm -hmm. um, how they would organize in such conditions, what the next move would be, um, because it's, you know, what we do now, basically, in the information war, so it's it's a good comparison from the future in fiction to what we're doing now. I mean, we don't have an armed revolt, but the information information war is, is where it is now. But they're kind and, of forced into no other options at this time. So I'm using a lot of reality in the work of fiction. That's exactly what it is, because we see uh, every day the parallels between fiction and the real world get less and less. We think about 1984, we think about Brave New World and all these other things going on. So let's talk about some real world issues right now with this current uh, government shutdown. What are your views on that? I'm wondering, I'm really wondering if this is, is, is this, when they're going to make their move, I mean, because I think about it futuristically as uh, the, what will affect if they, you know, we default on the 17th. Mm -hmm. You know, what would happen if they allowed that to happen? Because uh, the powers that be, you know, the puppet masters out there, they they could use any of these situations to go take it to the next level. If they if we default and let's say people start not receiving their social security mm -hmm. or uh, veterans benefits or you know anything like that people st can't go to the grocery store i mean i told my mom i was like i, I hope you got some money set back just in case i'm not saying anything's going to happen they'll probably come through with a quick fix mm -hmm. and with this thing will drag on and on but there's the other option that they want to they want to do that because what would happen people start rioting raids on the stores at some point and then they would be able to crack down a right. lot more martial law 
Right. So that's it's a possibility. I don't know. I kind of go back and forth. I'm not good at predictions, really. But I think that this could be an opportunity for them to do a lot of things if they wanted to or allow through, you know, like the, the furloughed workers, something to happen like a, a, some kind of false flag attack of some sorts. And we definitely don't want to see that. But something that's not a prediction, we see all these veterans not being allowed to go to their own memorials, things that they built with their own blood, sweat and tears. And it's just very sickening, in my opinion. You know, these guys go to their own memorial. And you can't even get in. They got it taped off or roped off. And your thoughts on that? Hey, that's horrible. Then that it's just a yeah, it's just a telltale sign that they don't care. They do not care about us. They don't care about veterans. And you know how they always, every time they're talking about it, the brave men and women and all this stuff, and they'll drape themselves with soldiers behind they'll them. They'll bring them to the football games and, yeah. you know, how they have the kids run out on the field and hug them and all that. Mm -hmm. And they, they set all of that up, and then what do they do to them? I mean, look how many homeless veterans that there are out there, the percentage of homeless people that are actually veterans, and that's been a... Uh, for decades and decades, that's been the case. They don't take care of them. They just use the same thing as us. It's, oh, you know, it's it's sad. I, I was glad the first day when it, when they just you know busted through the barriers and went on. But now the reports are they're just like they're spending more money on the police there, police presence and all of that, and and <laughs> protecting in that manner than they needed when they just left it open. I mean, it's, that's it's exactly insane. exactly right. Now, Ken, our time is short, so tell us about. Uh, just give us an encouraging word for any activists out there, any commentators out there who may want to get started in the line of work that you do. Um, you just got to have an idea, get the information, research it, and spread it around in any way that you can. Just come up with the idea if it's nothing but, I mean, if it's something like making flyers and, and, and posting them around with some information on it and coming up with different ways and different, you know, uh, means to get people to wake up because a lot of times people have to learn things for themselves so uh, a lot of times you could just put up a, a flyer with just a uh, email address to some declassified government documents that mm -hmm. are out there that if, that if people would actually take the time to read they would know that this whole thing is just insane but um but as long as, and, and a word of encouragement also is, is a lot of people want instant gratification in this war, like the war and the battle that we're in. And I don't think that that's going to happen. I think that we just need to keep on our present course of this information war. And I always know that as long as they are there, we're going to be there. Exactly you right. You could, exactly you could destroy right. their, you can destroy the entire world and say three cats you know, got in a rocket ship and blasted off. You got three people. One's going to think they the top dog with their mentality. The number two guy's going to sit there and want to be number two. And there's going to be the third person who's going to be the bottom of the, of the barrel. He's going to be the slave to them. He's always going to be number three. And in that mindset, the revolution will continue. Because exactly. Now, sorry to cut you off there, Ken, oh, but okay. our time is short. And I definitely appreciate you, Ken Webb. Change the channel. That's DA channel and also Truth Frequency Radio. Thank you for your time, man. Hey, thanks a lot, man. And one of the great things about Ken is he posts many of our videos on his YouTube page, Change the Channel. Obama Deception is there as well as many others. But you can also find those on PrisonPlanet.tv where you can get yourself a 15-day free trial. You can get the Alex Jones Show, the nightly news, the special reports, the rants, and of course, the movies. So be sure to become a member of PrisonPlanet.tv. I'm Jakari Jackson for the InfoWars Nightly News, and we'll see you next time. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. Are we choosing our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? As we've moved through history, every great leader has had to understand the potential of information. Billions of dollars have been spent 
privately and publicly looking at how to tap into your psyche. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. When somebody obscures that feedback loop between you observing and testing it out and verifying it, they can take total control of your awareness. All of this is happening so fast, you need to be ahead of the game. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would not only endorse but demand a war. Right I don't have another one. Another plane just hit. State of mind, because there's a war on for your mind. Get your copy of State of Mind the movie at InfoWars.com. And remember, every order at InfoWarsStore.com receives a free citizen rulebook.